Hey guys and welcome back to day 3 of 25 days to vlogmas Today we are hitting some smoothie bowls And today is actually the same day as yesterday for me uh, But we're going to split this video into two So let's go make an awesome smoothie bowl Guys I know a lot of you have been asking me about smoothie bowls So if you want to learn how to do it yourself Pay attention to this video and I'll show you how Alright, coming at you guys with a voiceover today. So first thing you want to do is slice up a load of bananas, place them in a Tupperware box, put that box in the freezer, because you're going to be using a lot of bananas as the base for a lot of the smoothies that I make. So today's smoothie, we're going to put in some raspberries, we're going to have some blueberries going on in there, uh, some blackberries, a banana, a little bit of yogurt, and avocado action going in there too. I like to use frozen ingredients usually, but today I just was not prepared enough. So we're dealing with fresh fruit, which will work fine. However, frozen fruit just gives you a nice frosty texture to your smoothie. Next up, you just want to add in all your ingredients into your pot. No particular order, doesn't really matter. Just get all the fruits in there, and as you can see, the more colorful fruits you use, the more colorful your smoothie's gonna be. Now we're also going to add in some avocado and some low-fat natural yogurt into the smoothie. And what that's going to do is it's going to give your smoothie a bit of a creamy taste. It's also going to change the color of your smoothie. It will make it a lighter, softer kind of color. And of course it will add in some extra calories if you're looking to make your smoothie into more of a meal. Now this is the part where the monkey tries to break into your neighbor's house. It's desperately banging into the door and making a lot of noise. Looks pretty angry to be honest. I don't know what the deal is with that, but really wanted to get into that house. Now pay close attention because this next bit is very important. Once all your ingredients are in your blender, you need to blend them together. And then you should get something that looks like this. Now, it does look a little bit like brains, I won't lie, but it doesn't taste like brains, I promise. Next piece of advice for you guys, if you plan to post your smoothie on social media, make it look nice. Use an aesthetic bowl, something that goes well with your smoothie. Don't just use anything you find in the kitchen, guys. The next step is definitely the most fun part, and that is decorating your smoothie bowl. So I like to use fruits that have gone in the bowl, on the bowl. But really, this is your time to get creative, guys. Use whatever you want. You can use nuts, seeds, oats, granola. It gives it a bit of texture and just makes it look pretty. Okay, so now you guys know all my secrets to making a good smoothie bowl. So, you do want to freeze your fruit beforehand, that's normally what I do, however, I just wasn't prepared today, so the fruit was fresh, which kind of works, but it's always better if you want to freeze your fruit first, because you get like a nice frosty smoothie bowl kind of feeling, which is always good. Anyways, thanks for tuning into today's video, I will see you in tomorrow's video, day 4 of Vlogmas. Subscribe if you haven't done so already, so that you don't miss out on any of the new videos. Catch you in the next one, laters.